don't worry about the next because it's your boy Chris with the next all right so today I want to talk about that um, man in Chicago that got shot 16 times uh, now when I saw that video it it kind of freaked me out because like I couldn't really believe you know if someone was getting shot on live stream because uh, you know Facebook has that thing where you can um, live stream what you're doing a lot of people use that <clears throat> So I, I was I was seeing and I was, couldn't even believe like somebody would actually have the b balls enough, especially in live uh, broad daylight. But again, this is um, Chicago, uh, Chirac. So I wasn't too surprised about that. I was shocked, but not surprised. So um, when I first saw the story, you know, it wasn't making no sense. But then I dug around and got some research, and come to matter, find out the man was. Um, in 2009, he was convicted of second-degree murder, so he murdered somebody in 2009. So he got out of jail. Fast forward 2016, he was going to visit his mother. While he was going to visit his mother, he had um, it was this, he was live streaming this new shop that was getting open, and he was in the uh, enemy's territory. So he was in uh, the gang rival territory. While he was doing that, he was sitting up there bragging, you know, yeah, you know, I got away with the, yeah, you know, I'm in the the neighborhoods, um, in the territory. Uh, and then he got um, shot 16 times. The guy was standing right behind him, or it was in the same uh, vicinity of where he was. And then as soon as he got shot, he dropped the phone, he ran. And then the guy came behind him and, you know, started popping him some more. First of all, my thing is, what made you think that these people will forget? What made you think that somebody would forget that you took out their homie? First of all, this is Chirac, Chicago, so niggas out there don't play. They'll, they'll sleep you in broad daylight, you know. And first of all, I'm, you know, I'm really getting tired of all this black and black crime. Like I said, with the white people, they don't know nothing about no um, little Tukey had beef with ver ver so they have to uh you know shoot each other no they just see two niggas shooting each other and that's it and that's all it will ever will be you know so we have to take more pride in our community wherever we have atlanta georgia chicago new orleans la compton crenshaw wherever us black people may reside because it's really getting tiresome second of all the karma is a bitch that's why you do have to treat people how you want to be treated you have to be loyal because when you give out love, you usually get it back. Not always, but again, karma, you reap what you sow. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. I believe in that firmly. You know, you can't be doing people dirty and think you can get away with it. Especially in this generation, a lot of people, a lot of people think that, that you could just do something shady and think you can get away with it. Now this man is in, in critical condition. Um, I don't know his, uh, somebody said he was doing good. Hopefully he survived this because let this be a lesson learned to him and other people, whether you're in a gang or not, you know, a karma is a B. And it does exist. I don't know why he thought he could get away with this, thinking people would forget and not remember that you uh, killed one of their homies or whatever. I, I don't know why you would think that. But it's really getting out of hand, you know. And I was just reading another story where in New Orleans, this... Um, couple got shot in bed while they were sleeping next to their newborn child and yes this is a black couple a black couple that got shot in bed while they were sitting in um while they um newborn was laying right next to them now how fucking sick could you be to shoot a, a somebody while they laying next to their newborn a newborn child First of all, that child has nothing to do with what's going on, whatever beef you have. I don't care if that's the offspring of the person that you got beef with. That is not, you can't be shooting people because of that, you know. And I'm pretty sure it was gang related. I don't know if it was or retaliation or whatever. But back in the day, you know, OGs, you know, they didn't do that. You know, if they had beef with you, first of all, they probably would fist fight you before they shot you. Second of all, you know, they had respect for children and people who didn't have anything to do with uh, gang life and all of that. But nowadays, these people just ruthless. They shoot you right next to your mama. <laughs> you know, they don't really care, you know. But to shoot somebody next to a newborn, a child that hasn't just gotten to the world, has nothing to do with it, 
Uh, I think the parents didn't survive, so now this child is an orphan, you know, and this child had both of his parents in his life, by the way. Especially in the black community. I'm not trying to cliche, but hey, you know, that's how sometimes it is. Cut it out. Yeah, so, um, like I said, how fucking sick could you be to uh, shoot somebody right next to a, a, a newborn? You know, it's like every day you hear something in the news, and something is more outrageous. It's not glamorous, it's not cute, nor is it funny. Because again, a car, you reap what you sow. It doesn't matter how old this world gets, and this world is pretty old, um, some things just never change. And I believe karma is one of them, you know. And I don't know why people would think that would be glamorous or funny or outrageous, you know. We don't need to be living like this in this day and age. You know, where is happiness? Where is chivalry, you know? I'm tired of hearing stuff like that. It really drives me up the wall, especially a newborn, you know. That is just sickening to me, you know. As black people get it together, black lives matter. It, it shouldn't only matter when a white person is um, doing something. You know, you, as people, you need to start getting other people in your community in check. You know, it's really f sickening and frightening that to think somebody would actually do that. A newborn child... And then this other fool in Chicago, um, sh shooting, a, um, getting shot 16 times, you know, for doing something dirty, you know. Let that be a lesson learned. Uh, you know, to whoever, whoever sees this video, whoever sees his video, whoever sees Tommy Sotomayor's video, the Vice show, Lovely T.I., um, whoever. It should be a lesson learned because as a black person, as a person in general, it's just getting tired, you know, people losing their lives over the st st stupidest stuff. Especially in this day and age where these kids are just quick to t um, test death, you know, with the knockout challenge and the bath salts and shizerp and all of this. You know, it's really just getting tiring. And, um, yeah, that's basically what i got to say about that. So, any comments, questions, concerns, you know where to leave them. Be sure to thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Tell everybody around the block about me, or if you want to keep me to yourself, I don't care. Um, just like and subscribe, comment, whatever you want me to talk about, I will happily do so. Until then, this has been your boy Chris with the next on uh, some stop the violence mess because it really got to stop, y'all. All right, peace.